Uh, Terry, you know, you had two very serious knee injuries early on um, in your college career. How have you been able to come back from that and, and get to the level that you are now? Um, it was kind of a, uh, not me, an inside thing. Um, I just wanted to uh, really just get back at it because, um, not me, with an injury like that, it's, it's, it's usually a try to tell you down mentally, but um, you can't let it do it to you because if, if you do that, you know I mean, you're not going to get back right. So, um, And I just really attacked rehab both times. And um, the first time was a little harder for me, but the second experience was like a piece of cake because I already had been through it. So it was a pretty good experience for me, though. Just a reminder to the working areas, if we could keep the volume to a minimum while we have someone on the podium. And then we'll go right here to the second row on the end. How much of a luxury is it for you knowing that Therese Hall and Kale Garrett are right there behind you? Uh, I got somebody who I know who's going to feel the hole behind me. Um, I know someone who's going to tell me the right thing. So if, if I don't know something that's going on, I can, I can go back and ask them, hey, what's the play? What's the play? And I mean, they'll give it to me, even though that don't happen to me. But I trust them that much as far as not me asking them for that. We'll go to the front row in the middle. Terry, Coach, Coach Odom was saying in the, in the main room that it was evident that you were able to, you know, go through a full offseason this year without going through rehab. How much have you been able to feel that and how much has that kind of just raised your game heading into your last season? Um, it, it's tremendously um, to help me right now because um, I really can actually grind, you know, not I mean, get stronger, get faster um, for us building everything around, not I mean, for us what happened to my knees. So. Got to be everything around it, but um, it's it's great because I haven't felt like this since I've been in high school. So right now, it's I mean, it's good for me. We'll go right here on the front row, meow. Uh, Coach Odom talked about how he would be handing over the defensive play calling to uh, Ryan Walters this year, the defensive coordinator. Mm -hmm. So how is that going to affect the defense as a whole and you in particular? Um, I was I say how it affected the defense. Um, I don't think it affected us at all because um he he'd have been he'd have been right there was since Coach Odom was uh, been our defensive coordinator since our freshman year. So I mean he knows his defense in and out. So um, he's a great coach and um, great dude to be around. Great coach to be around. Always trying to um, I mean make you better. So um, it's gonna be a great experience for him. And I know he's gonna have a great job. Go to the camera platform in the back, all the way to the right. Terry, what is it do for a defense seeing the different looks that the offense is throwing at you under uh, Derek Dooley. He said he's going to kind of keep elements of last year's offense more spread and also more uh, under center than in years past. So what does that do as a defense to help prepare? Um, I'll say it would help us because um, there's some teams that probably don't even run that. I mean, don't run that type of uh, style of offense. But um, even when we come across it, we'll know what to do. We'll know, I mean, the little tendencies as far as what they're doing and what to expect coming, I mean, for that week. Out of the front row here on the left. Terry, when did you know that you were going to come back to Missouri for, that, for the next year? When, when, did that, when did you make that decision in your mind? Um, I made that decision pretty early, too, because as um, far as how the season was going, as far as I, how my body was feeling, I just knew that the next level wasn't ready for me and I wasn't ready for it. So uh, I told myself I had to come back, and um, especially I had to get my college degree. Uh, we'll go to the front row all the way to the left. I know you just said getting a college degree is something that's very important to you, but growing up, was the NFL always something you dreamed of? Yes, always. Um, this, since I was, I started playing the game of football when I was five years old, and uh, I always tell myself, no, I mean, I'm going to make it to the league. I'm going to make it to the league. Go right here on the aisle on the front row. So, Terry, coming out of high school, you were one of the biggest recruits in the country, I think top two. And then uh, now as you're going into your senior season, you're coming up on Defensive Player of the Year watch list and everything. So can you kind of tell us what that journey is like coming out of a place like East St. Louis to become this national known player? Uh, that journey was it was a great journey because um, my city is so small and um, in my city is really nothing but football or whatever sport you playing. So uh, it really was something that I know I told myself, like, you know, what I mean, you got to get out of here and um, to better yourself. So once I got to college, I just told myself I was going to try to be the best. But uh, and, I mean, it just kept just kept going. It's just always been instilled in me. And um, it's a great it's been a great experience for me. Again, if you have any questions, raise your hand. And we'll get a microphone to you. Anything else for Terry? Oh, we'll go back right. Terry, do you feel any pressure to carry on the legacy of the D-Line Zoo and uh, kind of be the next in line of uh, high draft picks coming out of uh, Missouri on that, on that line? Um, I wouldn't say I feel like any like pressure, pressure. But um, of course, there's a little bit of pressure on me for as um, I'm one of the older guys on the line. And um, it's D-Line Zoo, so 
And I'm mean, probably one of the last ones a part of that. So uh, it's it's gonna always be I gotta carry on down the line, on down the line. So it's something that I really have to instill in the younger guys, and um, they really been they buy into it. And something we always break down to is D line zoo every time we break it down. So it's it's gonna be good for us. Over here to the left side, front row middle. Terry, last year when you guys turned it around and started started winning there toward the end of the season, you raised your game as as well. What what, what did it take for you to kind of make that jump and, and to get kind of back to kind of what people had expected out of you, you know, before those injuries? You talking about like the last last, part, last yeah. part of the season? Mm -hmm. Yeah, second half of the season. Second half. Um, and I mean, it was finally that my body was just finally in the shape that it should have been in, like before the season started. As far as um, rehabbing, I mean, that's something trying to get back right, and um, my body still wasn't in, I mean, actually football shape. So about the time the mid mid season came around, my body was finally in shape to really like go get it like I really wanted to, and um, I just poured into it, poured into it, and gave it out to my guys. Anything else for Terry? We'll go back here, back right. Terry, I, I asked Drew this too. You guys were both guys who have played all four years. Um, what is something you're most proud of in your development from then un until now? Um, one thing I can say that I'm proud of uh, really is how much I've matured uh, for his on and off the field and um, really just the knowledge of the game that I have uh, since then. We'll go right in the middle of the camera position. How's it going, Terry? I, I know you're technically from Illinois, but East St. Louis is mm -hmm. right across from, from Missouri. Why, why was it so important for you to, to commit and, and play for technically the, the in-state school? Um, really, uh, not me to be close to home because I'm a big family person. So, um, not me without my family, I really wouldn't be here. So, uh, it really was for them. So, to make sure they can come to my games, they can come see me anytime that they can. And um, really, because it's a home state school, and I mean, where the most love, where you most appreciated it, and um, that's where I followed my heart and went. Anything else? All right, thanks, Terry. Yes, sir. Thank you.